Hey folks, Kathy here with Living America Homestead. Well, today we should have already started getting it. I am getting a few drops of sprinkles on me. Um, but this is supposed to be the first big um, storm of the year for us. So, that being said, I'm excited. I should be concerned, but I know that the Lord takes good care of me, and if something happens, well, something happens. But I'm out here checking my stuff, seeing how things are going, and uh, I took some some uh, cardboard from my mom's. My sister's husband saved that for me, and uh, I, I brought it home. I was afraid I was going to not get it home before the storm, but uh, anyways, I'm just out here checking everything, making sure everything's fine, making sure I ain't got none more of them nasty grasshoppers. I'm telling you, this is, I, I really, really, really love these uh these lilies let me show you I truly love these lilies I wish I had borders of them everywhere they are so beautiful isn't that just absolutely beautiful stunning I took all the old uh, stocks out yesterday to put into my uh, my new bed so I'm gonna show you that in just a minute oh I got to get these off of the neighbor's yard I can't believe I didn't put those back over here, but, oh well, she's not, she's not a nasty neighbor, she's a very good neighbor, and she don't care, so, <clears throat> gotta put them back though, because I want them as a border so nobody runs into my beds, and David, uh, edged them for me so I'll probably have, him have, have to have him do that again because I want to take them out further and uh, I want to cut the grass off but um, yeah I want to make that a bigger bed and go back further that way with it for more um, roselles and different things hopefully some sunflowers and uh, doesn't the yard look really beautiful my one little mango is still hanging up there when I came home oh where did it go oh no don't tell me it fell and I oh there it is <laughs> it's hiding from me see it. It's hiding from me. Oh, it looks like one maybe behind there unless that's just new leaves. I need to look a little stronger, huh? It's hard for me to bend, oh, bend my head back like this because of the plate in my neck is holding my head forward. And when I do this, I have to literally Pull, pull my whole body backwards and it puts a strain on everything but no more mangoes have fallen I only got four or five I can't remember uh, this year so far and yeah I don't think there's any more in there other than that one and I should probably pick that one because if I don't the uh squirrels or the birds or the people will get it anyways everything looks so good and I'm so very excited about all these beautiful little um, guavas now I can't remember if this is a strawberry guava or a pineapple guava so we'll see whenever it fruits the one over to the other 
to the house over I believe that that's a pineapple guava I really do believe that's what it is but it might be a strawberry you never know um, I remember getting pineapple and strawberry when I bought them originally also have another littler plant over there that's pineapple uh, and all those tall weeds I need to get that out and do something with it but that one right there beside the house that the kids are always uh, climbing the tree in yeah that one is definitely a strawberry how do I know that because they're red <laughs> and they're very good do they taste like strawberries no but they're good and I haven't seen any on it yet. But that's not to say they're not hiding in there. I, I don't usually see them until they start turning red. And this has only had fruit a couple of times. I think there's some right, right in there. I don't know if you can see that right there. I think that's some um, coming on, so maybe. Anyways, I'm trying to get prepared for this storm. <sighs> if I could ever get pre prepared for a storm, right? Yeah, I have too much junk. Hopefully it won't fly away. Um, <clears throat> and even though it is... Oh, look at these roselles. I can't wait till they get bigger and grow. Now, something has been chewing on them. Probably some of them stinking uh, um, grasshoppers. And it looks like the some of those, uh, oh, what are they called? Um, Debotacabas are not going to make it. But at least I tried, you know. So, but uh, I got some extra ones coming up in here, which is pretty cool. I'd like to have, I'd like to plant some more seeds, but I, I can't remember if I gave them all to David or not. He's supposed to plant some. Anyways, hang on. So this bed <laughs> is just a water, I mean, it's just a trough thingy that I put water in so that the impatience will grow nicely and and the other different plants, the, the um, dahlias and stuff. And I've got a few peppers and tomatoes in there, but uh, everything's growing pretty good. But what I wanted to show you is I got the cardboard so that I could uh, put it down on the walkways and everything and redo everything. That's what I, that's what my, oh, look at my babies, aren't they? Just the cutest little things. I moved them in here. Um, and I think I'm going to put, uh, I think I'm going to go and get my, um, what do you call that thing? Tarp out of the front yard and put over top of them girls because hopefully they're all girls because uh, I don't want them to get rained on and get cold and wet and die. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But let me get this done real quick. Um, it's my desire to have all this walkway that I'm walking mulched out and with uh, cardboard underneath so that uh, the weeds won't grow back. And over here, I added some of that compost dirt to this area because it was, it was really down. And I think I need to add more. I think it really needs more dirt to come up some more. Um, and it, I don't know if you can see that root right there. But it's up out of the thing. I really need to get that covered up. So I got some work to do in this area right here. But I got my first strawberries. These are tiny though. I'm really disappointed. They're just tiny berries. But they're still good. But they probably won't be uh, 
the greatest for like I mean I'd have to have a ton of them to make for jelly or something you know but I'm also adding I know this is crazy I'm still working on this bed I'm still adding um, filler stuff that was all the compost out of that compost bin where I just showed you and the compost bin is back there um, that I emptied in there and I also emptied the quail um, um, bedding for my baby quails that I sent home with David. I, I hatched out a whole bunch of them and I sent them home with David because I'm going to be gone for a few days and he's got a place to put them that right away and, I, and I'm hatching another set and I've got 14 of them that hatched out. Hopefully they'll all make it. But um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Now, right in here is where I added. Right in here is where I added all those fish, those mullet that uh, my son gave me. And look in here, I got a volunteer. I have no clue what it is. Hopefully, it's a um, cantaloupe because I'm gonna let it grow on the trellis. We'll see if I can get this ever finished <laughs> now there was one thing I had not shown you guys my granny smith apples I believe this is granny smith hmm maybe it's an Anna apple come to think about it but aren't they gorgeous now it's so weird look there's some of them that are huge and some of them are just babies isn't that crazy I want to pick that bigger one and see if it tastes all right because I know soon the bugs will be after them. I probably should. Oh, and look at there's one up at top. Look at that one, isn't it gorgeous? Um, if I don't do something about them now, soon to wrap them or something, then uh, the bugs will attack them like they did last year and I didn't get any of them. I was so disappointed. And I've got to do something cuz I got to cut that uh that one tree, that one plant back because it's taken it's shading out my apple tree and I don't want that to happen either. So, I've got to get on that. But I don't know how I'm going to get all this stuff done. And then going to Mississippi next week is going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyways, my girls are getting up there to roost. Look how big that tomato plant is. And it's even been the, the you can see that the, uh, the things, uh, those, uh, spider mites are all over it and it's still growing like crazy i don't know it might die back i don't know but i got me some blackberries i gotta pick and get in there in the freezer before it rains too so oh, let me get at it okay so my phone died and uh coming back out here to see i i i pretty much done what I wanted to. Oh, and I got some stuff from Amazon today. I'm really excited about. Part of the things that I am going to do a video on, <clears throat> I told some people <clears throat> on my live stream uh, on Wednesday night about it. That dog, I can't believe she chewed on it. Anyways, um, so, anyways, um, I got a couple of things from Amazon, and hopefully I'll get more. But I want you to see how much this stuff's growing. Check it out. I mean, they've grown at least an inch or more, some of this stuff, overnight. The corn is several inches. <laughs> 
Now, I still want to get some rabbit manure and put on there. Um, because they really need some extra manure. But I really, before, I, even more than that, I want to get some, um, um, fish emulsion. But this is what I'm having trouble with right now in bugs. These things right here, they are everywhere. Everywhere. So, I've got to do something to get rid of these guys. They're just sitting there sucking the juice out of that tomato. And, let me tell you, they're kind of pokey. So when I get them, I'm going to have to really go after it. Lord, how mercy do they ever stink. I don't see any more, but there was four of them right there. Oh, there's another one. Anyways, I've got to get rid of them things. I don't want them eating up my stuff. I think those, we called them stink bugs, but I think they might be um, squash bugs. Yep, I see more of them down here. I'm going to have to get after these. But I just wanted to show you this beautiful garden coming on. And uh, hopefully the storm doesn't take anything out. I've got to get take care of these before the storm comes. I'm getting sprinkled on now. Okay, got them. Uh, the weird thing about those, though, is they did not have a hard shell. That's weird. I've never seen those kind of bugs without a hard shell. Getting back to the garden. <laughs> Look how beautiful everything's looking. Everything's coming to life. I'm getting some tomatoes coming up there. <clears throat> Looking forward to it. Something has been in here, though. See that right there? I should probably separate these guys. But, well, I don't know. Should probably separate those too. Maybe I. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I hate to. I hate to get rid of them, but I think I need to separate them to give them a little bit more space to roam. But I can't remember what I put in here. But I think I'm gonna do that before the rain comes too. Alrighty. That's all done. Um, ended up getting 10 plants over here and four over here. Pretty good. Um, these two, I was intending for them to be nurseries for that bed over there, but that bed over there is not near ready for what I wanna do, so. We'll just have to let these separate up and grow a little bit bigger so we can uh, hopefully transplant them again. We'll see. But um, I don't know. <clears throat> the birds are frustrated because I, I uh, covered them all up. And... Uh, they did not want to be covered. So, they're raising cane. Even the chicks are frustrated. I covered them all up too so they wouldn't get wet. Anyways, I'm just so tickled. Come on rain, but no bad, bad stuff. Don't tear nothing up. <laughs> <coughs> Anyways, so that's about it. I'm just fiddling around here and messing with that, messing with that until, until it really starts to pour. I, I didn't want to get into any really, really big, huge projects because I didn't know what the storm was going to do. 
and I don't want to um, <coughs> unleash some bigger plants to get torn up or whatever. But uh, something over there, probably lizard. Anyways, um, y'all, I appreciate you watching. You you just don't even know how much I appreciate it. Um, I have come to know a lot of you and enjoy the company that we share on here and on my live streams. And I hope that you will tell your friends about me. And don't forget, hit that like button, share, and I'll see you next time here on Living Miracle Homestead. Bye now.